Bonjour! Hi! Welcome to another video of Cloud in 5 Minutes. I'm Frank Boucher, Microsoft Azure MVP based in Montreal in Canada. And today I will show you how to create Azure resources directly from .NET. For a new project I'm working on, I needed to create an Azure Instance Container, ACI, directly from .NET. In fact, I was looking for creating that container from a function, Azure function. I already knew how to create it using the Azure CLI. I did a video with that previously. I will put the link in the description. And also, I know we can do it using Logic App. It's really easy to do it that way. But for my purposes, I needed an Azure function. So I was looking and I found this library on GitHub that is managed by Microsoft and it's really easy like you could create anything with .NET Core. So for today's demo what I want to do is create a .NET Core console application and I will create with that code uh, Azure Container Instance. Just that. So before we get in the code just want to show you in the Azure portal that I have nothing here. I have no cloud in five minutes, no nothing. So perfect. So now let's open terminal. Excellent. And we'll create our .NET Core application. There it is. And now what I need to do is to add the reference of the uh, library. So for that, I will do the .NET add package, Microsoft Azure Management Fluent. That will use the NuGet package available online and add it to my application. Oh yeah, before I need to, of course, go, of course, I need to go in my folder. It's harder than it looked talking and coding at the same time. Perfect. So now we'll open it in code. So .NET Core will need to, to be authenticated to my subscription. So for that, I will need to create a .ot file. So what I can do is use Azure CLI and just use this command of Azure CLI. So AZ AD for Active Directory. And then I will create my file. I will save it in the same folder. I will call it my.azureauth. Perfect. So the file is created, is now available here. I won't open it because all my credentials are in there. And to save you the, the pain of watching me typing, I already have the code here. I will explain it to you. From the top of the, the code, I have four variables. So here is the path of my at file that I will use for authentication. Then I give a name for my resource group, cloud five minutes. Then my container group names is Frank containers. And for today's demo, I will use the image hello world. So Azure Container Instance, hello world. So it just display a logo with the message. Perfect. So next command is to Azure Authenticate, and then I pass the file. So with default subscription, because it's a demo, it's good enough. If I was to create something in production, I will definitely specify the subscription here. Perfect. Then now that I have it, I will just put a message. And you know what? I won't show the... I won't show the ID, display the name, and then I will create Azure resource group, define, I pass the name, so cloud five minutes, and then I specify the region. Pretty cool, I don't have to know them. They are there, in fact, it's just a string, but this way it's very convenient. And then I create, cannot be more simple than that, right? And last but not the least, for those of you who already saw my previous video, about the Azure Container Instance. If you don't have a look in the description, you know that to create a container instance, you need a container group. So here it is. I define it with the name defined previously, specify the region, the resource group. I specify that I want Linux container, could be Windows if I want. I specify uh, the name of my container, the image used to create that instance, of course, I do the mapping in here, so I will open the port 80 because this is a website that I'm creating and using the CPU, everything that is needed. Great. So now 
Let's try it. So, perfect. Now, the net run. We'll see. Great, already done. So let's see if the resources were created in the Azure portal. So we'll go back in my portal and I will hit refresh. And we have our resource group, fantastic. Never doubt about it, but this is great. <laughs> okay, now I have my container group. And if I click in it and I go in my containers just here, I have my frame containers one with the image specify it's running perfect. And if I click in here, that URL, I have my logo. It worked. Woohoo! Voila, it was that simple. So now it's easy with that code to take it and put it in an Azure function. And now we could run it trigger by a HTTP trigger or like on a schedule, we could create containers and have our application running. Don't forget, if you try that demo, don't forget to delete your container. Container instance are very powerful. They are up pretty quick, but obviously they are a little bit more expensive than compared to a regular one. So now we know how to create an Azure container instance through Azure CLI, Logic App, and now .NET Core. All the code of this sample and multiple other samples are available on GitHub. I will put the link in the description. Have a look. It's a nice library with tons of examples. I hope you liked this video and I hope it was useful. And as usual, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Until then, see you next time.